so here's what it's like to live in Canada in April. Hi there. Welcome to the Schwalben's Nest. My name is Sandra. I've got a thrift haul for you today. What I'm going to do is show you all of the items that I thrifted today. And then I'm going to go through the items that I want to show you how you can showcase, display, decorate in your home without actually doing anything with those products, taking them straight from the thrift store and putting them right into your decor. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching. So I've got everything piled around me here on my couch and I'm going to start off with this beautiful rolling pin. Take a look at him. Four dollars. They are hand turned here. This is all one solid piece. Beautiful, beautiful design on that. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I am a sucker for birdhouses. Now this isn't necessarily a birdhouse, but look at how cute that is. It's just a little decorative house. There isn't anywhere to put a birdhouse hole in it. Of course, I could open one of these windows if I wanted to, but I just think that is so cute. Even the colors, there's a little bit of yellow and it's already all rustified. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need to do much with that. So I paid $2 for this guy. Really light wood, but really pretty. I picked up this beautiful orb for $2. I'm gonna take the tag off so you can see it really beautifully. Look at all of that wonderful texture and design. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's going to look really pretty once I doctor it up with a little bit of paint and maybe some wax. It's going to bring out all of that beautiful detail. I found some more craft foam. Always good to grab these at the thrift store. This one was a dollar and for three of these was two dollars. So I was really excited to grab those. Comes in handy because I do a lot of floral arrangements and I sell a lot of things that are floral arrangements. So I always go through a lot of foam. Right now my dollar stores still don't have any of the pool noodles, but I prefer to use those because they are less expensive than the floral foam. Okay, we'll look over on this side. These are some boxes. Now you can see that somebody's already done, tried to do something, put it over here, tried to do something with this. Um, I got a set of three for $3, so a buck a piece. And each of them has a little bit of a different style to them. So this one says coffee, this one says tea, and the one inside of it is more of a just a lighter beige color and this doesn't say anything at all so chances are they were stacked they look like they're just cardboard but i thought painting these over and putting a beautiful vintage label on them would be absolutely gorgeous with some tulips with some lavender and what i would probably do is set them in the lid so that gives even a little bit more texture put that all together for a nice little arrangement to sell okay i found this crate i'm gonna bring it back here a little bit so you can see it better it's fairly big of course it's got the little hearts on the side but you know what that's not a problem i can very easily either just cut this straight across or just cut this out and make a circle or a square trim down these little edges but I think it's really cute this was five dollars it's really sturdy nice wood it's not that pine yellowy goldy color so I really liked that about it but <laughs> knowing me I will probably paint it although these getting inside of all these slats and everything is kind of a pain in the butt so we'll see maybe I'll just surprise myself and leave it brown this time but that will end up getting upcycled and will also be a sold item, hopefully a sold item. Okay, so I found in some of these little bags that the thrift stores always have, these are some really fun handles. And because I've been making a lot of trays lately, I thought these would be really great. They're actually drawer pulls, so I could use them on um, furniture and stuff like that. They're all silver, but I don't think it would take much to either paint them white or black. 
probably black is where I would go with these, um, or leave them silver like this. And there is a product called Rub and Buff that I've never tried yet, but I've seen a few YouTubers use it, and I think I'm going to give it a try. Maybe just get those just toned down a little bit more, maybe have them look a little bit more pewter rather than silver. And then in this bag, these are really pretty. Um, and these are really old. These are so fun. I might look them up to see if they have any value. These are from a Canadian Tire store. Of course, I'm in Canada and we have Canadian Tire, um, which is sort of like your Menards. It's, it's, it's basically a hardware store that has other things in it as well. So I'm, I'm not going to take them out yet because I'm not quite sure. But look at the design on that. Is that not the prettiest little thing that you've seen? With all that little beading detail, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So these are really pretty the way they are gold, which really isn't my style, but I really like that effect on them. And I think, yeah, they're all the same. I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five of them in here. So those will make some beautiful handles for either a refurbished dresser or some trays or any type of a breadboard maybe putting some a little bit of design on there with some hardware so that's just the quick stuff that i oh sorry nope uh one more thing one more thing yep one oh two more things <laughs> This is a huge mirror that I grabbed, oops, and I got it upside down. Um, it's a huge mirror, nice wooden mirror, no cracks in any of the panes. So this will probably just get a repaint and I'll probably sell it just the way it is. Just rustify it up a little bit, get it some uh, details in here, probably paint it black first and then go over it with the white and then bring out some of the black so it looks nice and rustic. This isn't too loopy, so I think this is not too out there. I think for farmhouse decor, it would look beautiful. Okay, one more thing that I found. I've been on the lookout. This was a dollar. I've been on the lookout for rusty, old um, tools that I can use as handles on a crate. So imagine this crate is a little too small but imagine if you had this as your handle for your crate so a toolbox or something so with this end I could literally just hook it into that side and then the other end I could just push make the hole big enough to push it out and I think I could make a really pretty rustic um, piece of decor with this. So that's what I've been on the lookout for lately. And I really love the old patina on this. So I'm not going to do anything else with that. The last thing that I purchased, nope, I've got a couple more things. I keep looking around me going, no, nope, I'm done. Nope, 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 there's more. Okay. So I found this little bucket. This is just really light wood. Um, it has some snowflakes and they are screwed in. So very easily I'll be able to take that out. I love how rustic it is already I'm probably not going to do anything else with it that was two dollars oh and the little grab bags these gold ones were $3.99 and these silver ones were $2.99 and gosh I think there's probably at least 10 or 12 of the silver ones in here so that was a great buy but anyhow <laughs> getting back to this one I think I'm going to just leave him the way he is and now last for what I would be not using for my little vignette display that I'm going to show you. I've got this little sugar and creamer. They are adorable. They're in excellent condition and they're plain. They're an off-white color, sort of a creamy color. They were $5.99 for both of them. So $3 a piece, not exactly inexpensive but just because of the quality and the shape that they're in I thought it was worthwhile so we're missing a little bit of a, a well a spoon would fit in here so we're not missing the spoon but the spoon would fit in there so I'm probably going to do just a little farmhouse label on these and just pretty them up a little bit maybe spray them so they're not quite so shiny or maybe I'll just leave them the way they are and see if I can get some 
uh, resale value out of these. Now I'm going to go through all of the things that I purchased that I'm thinking with adding a little bit of florals and a little greenery, maybe a candle or two, I'll be able to create a really beautiful vignette and show you how I would decorate with all of these items. So I hope that's something that's going to be useful for you. And if you like this type of video, let me know down in the comments and then I'll be sure to do some more in the future. So I'm going to start off with this beauty. Look at this gorgeous jar. I'm going to bring it over here so you can see it a little bit better. It was $3 and this is as is. I'm just going to clean it up. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous with a really long stem of something in here. Probably just a greenery stem. I think that's going to look beautiful wherever I put it. I'm not going to put anything in the bottom of it. I don't want any moss or anything like that in there. I'm just going to leave it absolutely clear. And I think that is probably one of the things that you could look out for nowadays at the thrift store is just a really tall, large glass bottle or vase that you can just put one sprig in and then that's, that's it. That's all you'll have to do to that. The next thing that I found was this little teapot. Isn't he the cutest? Now, I don't know. It's metal. I don't know if he was copper or if whatever he was. I don't know. I did pay a pretty penny for him. I paid $6.99 for this guy. I looked at him. I passed him by. And then I came back just on my way out and decided that yes I need to have him. Now he is missing half of his little wicker um, embellishment here so I will probably just take all of that off and leave it raw um, unless it doesn't look too good then maybe I'll just wrap some twine around it and um, and clean it up a little bit. I think it's a it's a little dirty on the inside but wouldn't that look so cute with a little bunch of lavender sitting in there or even just a little boxwood greenery. I think that's a perfect little accompaniment to a rustic vignette. So I needed something a little tall and I thought this was really nice. It's got some beautiful colors to it. I think it has um, some nice straight lines, nothing too fancy, nothing too wiggly, has some pretty little leaves on it there. And I think it's going to be just a beautiful uh, addition to the vignette. So for the background, I found this frame. You can always just look for frames. This is a wood one and it has this really nice dark brown color. And this was $2. It didn't have anything in it, <laughs> as you can see. And I think just using this as a backdrop and then layering things in front is a really good idea when you're working with different types of frames. The other thing I did was I wanted to find something that could go in front of that frame that would look really pretty. So I found this print. Now I did pay $8 for this and I normally I would never pay that much. Now on the back I can see it says Pier 1 and this was $40 at Pier 1. So I guess 8 bucks isn't that bad. But I just loved the rustic look of it and I thought layering it with this would look really nice leaning against a shelf or on a wall and just having that layered effect. I also found this little guy, this tiny little pot with sort of a, a rope detail on the top here. It was 50 cents. I'm so excited that I found something for less than a buck. Wow, this doesn't happen very often. So I think that will probably just maybe get a little succulent or something or it might just uh, be there by itself. So we'll see what I do with that. I'm not quite sure. Okay. So I found this. Now, French country is really hot right now. So why somebody would give this away, I have no idea. But you can see it's got all the different pots on it. It has a gray interior and they're very crackled. You can see everything's crackled. These, This is all attached. It's all one piece. 
and it's very heavy, super heavy as a matter of fact. And this was $5. So I thought this was a great buy. I really love it exactly the way it is. It's got crackle, it's got the color, it's got the gray, fits into farmhouse decor just perfectly. So three bunches of lavender or different colors or just greenery, let me know in the comments what you think I should put in this. And um, we'll see what I come up with and see if it matches what you would do. Books are really, really popular nowadays. And I found a couple of these hardback books. They're $2 and I have schmutz on my shoulder from something. <laughs> um, this one, the reason I got these is because of this. Look at all that old, old texture. I love that. This book is old. The, the texture here, they've got the torn pages on it. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So then I wanted to find another one that would be just a little bit smaller. And this one also has those types of pages on it. So I think that is perfect. Now these both have jackets on them, but I'll be taking the jackets off. And the reason I purchased these specific books is because of the color. It might look a little green to you, but it's actually gray. So a couple of colors of gray. And this one, I can see if I can, uh, this jacket is stuck on. It's one of these really old ones that has the jacket with the plastic on it. And check this out. <laughs> it's still got the library cards in it when you, everybody, everybody, you know, took it out and whatever. So the date due and all of that. So let me see. 2000, 2002, 2005. Okay. So it's not, might not be that old of a book, but I just liked, let me see if I can get this off without really wrecking the book. I should have checked that in the store. Nope. This is good. So I'll have to pull this off here, but I'm not going to take you through. But here's then the, the other color. Now, this is all very gold. And this is silver. So I'll probably take some antiquing wax or some black paint and rub it across there just to dull it down a little bit. But I got these because I thought they would be beautiful as part of the vignette. So stay tuned, we're gonna get working on the vignette in just a second. I'm going to let you just observe how I'm going to decorate this little table in my front room and I hope you enjoy it.
I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about how to decorate and especially what to look for at the thrift stores. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also make sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.